I'm going to hand it off to Chris. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got to position myself here. When I practiced at home, I had a clicker, so. <laughs> uh, oh, my name is Chris McKellop, and I'm here to talk to you. Can everybody hear me all right? Is this close enough here? Uh, okay, cool. Um, uh, I'm here to talk to you about SP Entertainment. We're a local entertainment media company. We don't call ourselves as a game company, uh, and you'll understand why as I go through. Uh, SP Ent was founded. Let me take out my notes, if you don't mind, because otherwise I know I'll get off track. Okay. SPM was founded in 2000, uh, 2002 as a VFX and animation company, and uh, we, that's really where we got our start. But we did look into games early on, uh, and that connected with us with CNM and a small game project that was happening there well before indie was a thing. Uh, we were also involved in the post community here in uh, New Mexico, and uh, that kept, helped us keep our ear to the ground with what was going on in the films industry here. Uh, things were going well for a while, but uh, eventually the uh, Sony pullout happened and the bottom fell out of the post-production industry here in uh, Albuquerque and in New Mexico in general. Uh, and then we started, uh, that's really when we started looking into uh, doing our own games. Uh, and we had a few titles that we worked on early on, and one of those titles eventually became Tilt, uh, which is um, one of our titles still in production. And uh, we worked Tilt all the way to beta, and uh, at that point we thought, we realized that we didn't want Tilt to be our first game. Most game companies, uh, when they launch their first game, it's pretty much unknown. Uh, a lot of the game companies that you know of, and you know of their games, it's their, their third, their fifth, Rovio's 52 games before they created uh, Flappy Birds. So, or, or sorry, um, Angry Birds. Uh, so we knew we didn't want it to be our first game, and that's when we started looking into some other projects, and that's how Raptors Realm K3D came on to sort of elevate uh, uh, Tilt and help us get more visibility as a company. Now, of course, as we've run SP Entertainment through the years, life has happened. Uh, one of the, some of the things that have gone on in our lives, my wife's uh, um, father had a stroke, uh, and we ended up moving in with them for a while to help caretake for them. Eventually, we moved back out into our own place, uh, and that place was shut down, and we lost that, um, and we were uh, homeless for a while. Uh, with the help of friends and family, we had a place to stay, and we even moved the business, the office, into a team member's home so we could continue to run the company. Uh, that eventually worked out. We got a new place to stay, and shortly after that, um, my nephew, who we were helping to caretake with, was diagnosed uh, with aplastic anemia. We had, he had to have a bone marrow transplant. So I moved to Denver for a year. We moved back here for several years for treatments. Uh, and those sorts of things get in the way, and we couldn't have done what we do without friends and family. And the team, the team has really been a, a good asset, helping us uh, to move forward uh, and keep the company running. And game production uh, for a small team is a kind of a particular thing. Uh, a lot of you might not know what happens. Um, so uh, what we do is we usually start uh, with an eval period. It's a sort of a, a production stage. Uh, this here is Dan. He just came on not too long ago, and he's uh, helping us with PR marketing and that production piece. And we usually evaluate a title and, and make sure that it's, it looks like it's going to work, look like, looks like it's going to fly. Then we move on to the writing and design stage. And that up there is my wife. And she's uh, our Casey. She's our local... Um, lead editor, our writer, she's really our wordsmith. And as you work through design, you get yourself to a point where eventually you can start pre-production. That's Greg. He's our artist, uh, lead artist. Uh, he's really good at helping us put, uh, go from concept to digital to in-game and, and helping the whole pipeline uh, run really well. Uh, and as we work through that pipeline, we eventually get to a point where we start actual production and coding and start working on the prototype. That's Paul. He's our other programmer. And uh, he came on through our partnership with CNM and, uh, and uh, the internships that we run with CNM. And he decided to stay on afterward. And he's been a great asset to the team. When we work through production and coding, you eventually get yourself to a point uh, where you get into starting to test things. Uh, and uh, that up there in the gold shirt is Daniel, my nephew. As you can see, he's doing very well these days. Everything worked out well. 
Uh, and he's our QA specialist. He helps us find the bugs, track them down, and figure out how to fix them. And that whole process is a very iterative process. It's a grind. We have several pr um, versions of the game that come out. Uh, we're constantly cycling that forward and forward and forward. Um, then there's, of course, myself, uh, and I handle uh, all of these aspects. I do pretty much everything and the extra things that other people can't do or don't have time to do, including running the business. Um, so we really couldn't pull all of this off without the team. The team is really important uh, to what we do and helping us uh, work forward, and we all wear different hats and do different things. And that brings me to sort of where we're at now. When we publish game titles, our self-published game titles. And we recently just published, at, as you heard, Eric told you, our first uh, self-published game launch. The launch went very, very well. As you can see, we got some really great local coverage. Uh, things um, were, were good. The launch, the game's still performing well, but we're a small company and it's a small game and no one's really heard of us. Uh, and success can be uh, difficult to define at this sort of a stage. Uh, that very successful launch where we got a lot of coverage and a lot of people knew about it was a very small drop in a very, very large ocean of game development uh, these days. Uh, <clears throat> and so uh, how do we sort of combat that? Well, as I said, we work on other titles. So we're working on Raptor's Realm, which is currently in prototype. Uh, we're still working on Tilt which we're uh, working on updating yet again uh, to some of the newer software. Um, and we've also recently launched uh, our Patreon, well, sorry, we're going to launch soon uh, this week our Patreon uh, page and our DevDogs network. Uh, and what is Patreon? Patreon is a sort of a crowdfunding platform, but unlike Kickstarter where you uh, fund a project at a time, it's really designed for patrons to come on and support artists to continue to do the things they do on an ongoing basis. For us, that's making games. Uh, we give back to the community through our, to our patrons by giving them a more behind the scenes look at dev. We give them a bigger voice in our games. We give them more access to us and what we do, um, and that's how we sort of pay them back. So how can we use your help today? Well, first of all, we're working very hard at moving from uh, bootstrapping the company. We haven't taken a consulting gig in uh, several years. Uh, we've been f focusing on publishing our own games. Uh, we want our income to become steady and sustainable. Um, and to do that, we really need to get uh, notice. We need to grow in a very, very crowded, as you saw from the previous slide, industry. Um, and so we're trying to work on engaging people, bringing them on, getting them interested in who we are as a company, what we do, and then turning those people into uh, engaged fans and turning those fans into support who will purchase our titles, purchase our merchandising, uh, and really engage with us uh, through Patreon and, and other things like that. So that really uh, covers the company. We've been around for 15 years, and, and there's a lot there. Uh, it's a very, very fast go-through. But uh, I think that that pretty much uh, lets you guys know who we are and what we do. So I think at this point, I'll go ahead and open it up for questions.